When it comes to food, our first instinct is usually to refrigerate it so it stays fresh longer. But that isn't always the case. Hi viewers and welcome back to another Bestie video. In today's times, refrigeration is a substantial practice in every kitchen and household. It goes a long way in preserving our food and maintaining its quality. But did you know that despite our popular belief, refrigerating certain foods can actually change their flavor, and not in a good way. It can even reduce their nutritional quality, or accelerate the spoiling process. In today's video, we'll tell you about 18 such foods that you should never refrigerate, from melons, cakes, peanut butter, honey, to bread, and more. Watch until the end to find out all of them. Number 1. Tomato The texture of tomatoes can be hit or miss depending on how you store them. If you put them in the fridge, they can become mealy and lose their flavor. Instead, store them on the counter at room temperature for one to two days. But keep them out any longer than that and they might go bad. Are you a fan of tomatoes? What's your favorite way to eat them? Is it in the form of salsa, pasta sauce, or something else? We'd love to know in the comments section below. Number 2. Melons Melons normally do best outside the fridge. Once refrigerated, they tend to break down and become powdery and grainy. So, to keep the flavor intact, they need to be stored at room temperature. However, after cutting, you should store them in the fridge for three to four days. Number 3. Potatoes Potatoes are a fan favorite because of their versatility, but they should never be placed in the fridge. Cold temperatures can break down the starches in them, changing the taste and texture. For optimal storage, place in a cool, dry space to keep them fresh. Number 4. Basil Basil is a great herb to have around the house. Its unique tastes makes the perfect cooking partner to spice up your kitchen. Just remember, it should be kept at a temperature of at least 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Anything less than this and it can cause black marks to appear on the plant and ruin their taste. Be sure to keep it in a little bit of water and in the shade. That way, the herb will last a lot longer than it would if it was in the fridge. Number 5. Bananas Banana is a tropical fruit, so it's safe to say that it doesn't benefit from the cooler climate of a fridge. The cold temperature can actually have the reverse effect by turning them black quicker. When buying your bananas, be sure to catch them before they're ripe so they can mature at room temperature in your kitchen. Number 6. Onions Onions don't just rely on warmer climates in the fridge, they actually depend on clear and open air circulation to keep them fresh. Whether they're chopped or fried, you need to look after them the same way you would any other food. Strangely, you should keep them far away from your potatoes, as they can speed up onions aging processes. It's safe to say these foods don't get on. Make sure they're kept in different parts of the kitchen with neither in the fridge. Number 7. Cucumbers It's a common mistake, but storing cucumbers in the fridge will make them watery and pitted. If you do choose to refrigerate them, it's best to wrap them in plastic to minimize the moisture. Number 8. Butter there's nothing worse than trying to spread rock-hard butter. The good news is, there's no need. Depending on temperatures, you can store butter on the counter covered for a week or so. The best plan is to refrigerate butter and take it out one stick at a time. If the weather is very hot, you may opt for smaller quantities. Number 9. Honey Honey is a versatile natural sweetener with a seemingly never-ending shelf life but it should never be stored in the fridge. The colder temperatures alter the chemical makeup of it and cause it to crystallize and seize up. Number 10. Mature White Wines It's widely accepted that white wines are best served chilled. However, storing bottles in the fridge isn't the best option for mature white wines such as Chardonnay. While sparkling wines and lighter white wines should be served at colder temperatures, complex whites are better appreciated at slightly warmer temperatures. If you have one, a wine fridge set to 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit is the most ideal option. Number 11. Oils 
pretty much all oils are safe to store at room temperature. If the oil has a lower saturated fat content, such as safflower or sunflower, it'll benefit from being kept cool. So store it in a dark cabinet or in the fridge door. The only ones that you must refrigerate are nut-based oils. Number 12. Garlic If you want your garlic to sprout early, then fridges will take care of that for you. It'll also attract mold on the skin and within the inner layers of each bulb. So really the choice is up to you, but we would recommend keeping it somewhere dry and warm. The best thing about accidentally putting your garlic in the fridge is that all the rotting occurs from the inside of the cloves, so you won't be able to see it. Number 13. Peanut Butter Whether you like crunchy or smooth, we can all agree that peanut butter is enjoyed best when you can actually spread the darn thing. There's nothing worse than going to make PB&J and having to wait for it to warm up so you can stick your knife in. Keeping it in the fridge hardens the spread and makes it hard to apply to bread. Next time, keep it in the cupboard and avoid this problem altogether. No longer will the bread have to battle between hard peanut butter and soft jelly. Number 14. Hot Sauces Most hot sauces contain vinegar and certain preservatives that slow down molding and bacteria from growing. Although keeping your favorite condiments cold won't speed up the molding process, it just might reduce their strength. You might think you have taste buds made of steel, but it's your fridge helping you. Next time, keep your bottle of Tabasco on the kitchen counter and see how impressive you can be with it. We bet you'll notice the difference. Number 15. Chocolate The fridge is the worst place for your bar or box of chocolates. The temperature and moisture of the fridge can tamper with the taste, color, and texture. Chocolate, specifically cocoa butter, also absorbs the smell of surrounding food, so it's best kept away from other odorous ingredients. Instead, protect it in a cool, dry place, in an airtight container if you've already broken into it. Chocolate, especially the dark ones, can be really good for your health. To know how, watch this video titled Eating Dark Chocolate Does This to Your Body. Now, back to foods you should not refrigerate. Number 16. Peaches Don't be tempted to slip fresh peaches into the fridge if they're not ripe yet and ready. Like many other stone fruits, cold temperatures hinder the ripening process, meaning you'll be left waiting longer to dig in. They're also at a higher risk of spoiling. Store them on the countertop instead and only chill if they're about ready to tuck into. Number 17. Aged Specialty Cheese It may sound counterintuitive to keep your cheese out of the fridge because it's a dairy product, but hard cheeses like Gouda and cheddar or fancy cheeses like Pecorino Romano tend to retain their flavor better without refrigeration. Though you should keep in mind that it doesn't apply to all kinds of hard cheese. Drier, more aged, sharp cheddars are ideal to be kept outside, but shredded cheddar should be refrigerated. To store sharp cheddar without refrigeration, wipe the cut side of the cheese with white vinegar and then gently dry it off. Next, wrap the cheese inside a cheese cloth and then wrap the block inside butcher's paper, parchment, or wax paper. Keep it away from warm surfaces and away from direct sunlight. Number 18. Coffee Beans Coffee beans have no place in the fridge unless you want to ruin your brew. The humidity in the fridge can cause condensation to form on the beans, which can put a damper on the flavor of both ground and whole beans. For the perfect cup of coffee at home, store the beans in an airtight container in the pantry or right on the counter. Number 19. Bread Bread, especially white, must not be put in the fridge. The reason being, when kept in a cool, dry place, breads dry up very fast. The best way to store it is to take out the amount that you would be eating in the next four days and then deep freeze the rest of it. Number 20. Citrus Fruits Citruses, like lemons, limes, oranges, and grapefruits are all great examples of food that do not need refrigeration. These juicy fruits are best preserved in a countertop fruit basket instead. If you don't think you'll get around to eating your fruit for a few weeks, carve out a cool, dry, well-ventilated place, 
like your cupboard, for them to hang out until you're ready to gobble them up. Number 21, cake. While some cakes need to be stored in the fridge, frosting-free cakes and those topped with ganache or buttercream will be fine for up to three days stored in an airtight container on the counter. If you're worried the whole cake will spoil before you can eat it, cut it into small slices and store them in the freezer, where they'll be less apt to dry out. Eating too much cake or sugar for that matter is never a good idea. It's very bad for your body and can lead to many health problems. It's always a good idea to know your sugar levels so that you can control it at the right time before it causes any harm. You can do this by getting to know the eight signs of high blood sugar levels or recognizing the eight warning signs that you're eating too much sugar. These two videos will surely help you know when your sugar levels are too high so that you can keep it in check. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. How many of these foods are you guilty of refrigerating? Let us know in the comment section below.